Hello my dear students, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine. Uh, today I am here with another class uh, uh, and uh, today I am going to start new chapter uh, that is chapter number 12 and the name of the chapter is time. Uh, in this uh, chapter we learn about uh, uh, calendar, second one leap year, uh, leap year. Uh, third one decade, uh, fourth era, uh, fifth century. Uh, at first here uh, calendar uh, we already know uh, that a calendar consists of 12 months each and every calendar is consist of 12 months and uh, uh, in our country basically we use three types of calendar uh, first one English calendar uh, second one Bangla calendar third one history calendar uh, in our today's lecture uh, we will learn about Bangla calendar and English calendar uh, I hope all of you uh, already uh, know about English calendar. Uh, at first, I will discuss about Bangla calendar. Bangla calendar also consists of uh, 12 months. Uh, these months are uh, here in Bangla calendar. Uh, there are 12 months. Uh, first one is Boishak. Uh, we already uh, celebrated uh, Pahela Boishag a uh, few days ago. Uh, that was uh, 14th April. Uh, uh, all of you uh, know that. Uh, uh, that means uh, in uh, 14th April, uh, uh, the first day of Bangla calendar uh, started. Okay, uh, second one is just a third one, Ashar. Uh, fourth one, Shravan. Uh, fifth one, Bhadra. Uh, these five, all five months, consist of 31, all consist of 31 days each. There, that's mean uh, in uh, Panga calendar, uh, first five months, uh, uh, Consist of 31 days each. Uh, uh, then number 6 is Ashin. 7th one Kartik. 8 number 8. Agrahayam. 10 mark number 11 falgun number 12 chotra uh, the remaining all seven months uh, here uh, here all seven months uh, consist of uh, 30 days each 30 days each uh, there's been in Bangla calendar uh, uh, first five months consist of 31 days and uh, second seven months uh, last seven months uh, consist of 30 days each on on the screen you will find all the 12 months of Bangla calendar here just note down okay but now uh, second uh, okay uh, now English calendar Uh, here also uh, English calendar uh, consists of uh, 12 months. Uh, I think all of you already know all the names uh, of the months of uh, English calendar. Uh, these are uh, number 1 January, number 2 February, number 3 March, 4 Number five, May. Number six, June. Number seven, July. Number eight, 
August number nine September and number ten October number eleven November number twelve December uh, here uh, the all 12 months of uh, English calendar year uh, in English calendar year uh, uh, first month January consists of 31 days uh, February consists of 28 or 29 days uh, I will explain uh, when uh, it is 21 or when uh, 29 days uh, March 31 days uh, April 30 days May 31 days June 30 days July 31 August 31 September 30 October 31 November 30 and December consists of 31 days If we add the days of uh, each month, uh, then we will have in total uh, 365 or 366 days in a year. Uh, generally, uh, we count uh, 365 days in a year. While the year is a leap year, uh, that is, uh, uh, consists of uh, uh, 366 days you don't need to memorize uh, the number uh, number of days uh, each month consists of uh, here uh, we can memorize uh, this uh, using our hand here top bottom top bottom top bottom top okay uh, in top the month consists of 31 days but in bottom here uh, consist of 30 days uh, top 31 days bottom 30 days uh, in bottom we have here February that is uh, February is exceptional uh, uh, but for other months here uh, we uh, have the number here okay uh, here first one is January January is in top that means January is consist of 31 days in February February is bottom that means February is consist of we already know February is consist of whether it is 28 or 29 days okay now uh, March March is in the top that means March consist of 31 days March April April is in bottom that is uh, April consist of 30 days April May May is in the top that is May consist of 31 days May then June June is in the bottom that is June consists of 30 days and here July July is in the top that means July is consist of 31 days again we will start from the first okay first July July then August August is in the top that means August has uh, 31 days okay August September September is in the bottom that is September is consist of 30 days October October is in the top October consists of 31 days November is in the bottom November consists of 30 days December December is in the top so that December is consist of 31 days here okay I hope all of you uh, understand this and uh, you don't uh, if you uh, follow this uh, rule uh, you don't need to memorize this number against each month okay so uh, here we have learned two types of calendar here uh, first one is Bangla calendar second one is English calendar in Bangla calendar first five, uh, first five months consist of 31 days each in and the rest seven months consist of 30 days each uh, this is very easy to memorize first five uh, months consist of 31 days and uh, the rest seven months consist of 30 days but uh, this one is a little bit critical that's why we have to use this trick if you can use this trick then you don't need to memorize this now we will learn about leap year 
uh, leap year uh, what is leap year if anyone uh, if i ask you uh, what is leap year okay the answer is a leap year is a year containing 366 days that means every leap year has 366 days earlier i have told in leap year you have to we have one more extra day uh, that is a, in generally we have 365 days in a year but in a leap year uh, we have 366 days okay uh, how can uh, we know if whether a year is leap year or not uh, a leap year is a year if it is divisible by 4 that means if any year that is divisible by 4 then the year will be leap year but the years that tens and ones places are both zero but the year that has tens and ones place both are zero and this year will not be a leap year unless the year is divisible by 400 okay here uh, if we uh, take an example uh, that is uh, we have uh, now to 2020 uh, this year is a leap year or not uh, how can we check this at first we have to hear uh, tens and ones place uh, both are not zero so we have to divide this year by four if we divide this number by four then we have uh, by 4 then we have here 5 uh, 20 uh, we have to bring down uh, 2 here uh, then in 2 0 times 4 that is 0 then we have 20 bring down 0 here then we have 5 that is 5 times uh, 4 that is 20 so here we have 20 20 is divisible by 5 then the year 2020 is a leap year we can say that a uh, leap year uh, the year the running year that is 2020 uh, that is a leap year but if we uh, want to check uh, the year that is uh, 1918 whether the year is a leap year or not uh, the year was uh, if we divide by 4 then we have 4 times 4 that is 16 here then subtract 3 here bring down 1 uh, 7 times 4 that is 28 uh, here 3 bring down 8 9 times 4 that is 36 uh, 2 here okay the number uh, 1918 uh, that is not divisible by 4 so that we can't say uh, the the year 1918 is not a leap year the year is not a leap year yeah. now if we have the number that is the year 3000 uh, here we have uh, in ones and tens place both places are zero here we have another condition here uh, the years uh, that tens and one places uh, ones places both are zero are not leap year unless unless they are not divisible by 400 so if we have a year that uh, has tenth and one place both are zero then we have to divide by 400 to uh, to take the year whether it is a leap year or not that means here we have to divide by 400 so if we divide this number by 400 then we have uh, here uh, 7 times 7 times that is 28 0 0 so we have here uh, 0 0 2 so the year is divisible by 400 so we can't say that this year is a leap year okay we can't say that but if we uh, check another one uh, 
uh, if we take another one that is 2000 then we have to divide this number by 4 or 400 which one yes of course 400 we have to divide this number by 400 now if we divide this number by 400 then we have 5 times 400 that is 2000 uh, so the number 2000 is divisible by 400 so that we can say uh, the year 2000 is a leap year okay uh, to check now we have learned that to check uh, whether a year is a leap year or not uh, we have to divide the uh, number by 4 if the number year number is divisible by 4 then we can say that the year is leap year then we have to add one extra days uh, one extra day with uh, the total number of days that is the uh, we have then uh, total 366 days there okay and one extra days will be added with the month february that means there uh, in a leap year uh, february month consists of 29 days but in other uh, year that is in general year uh, february month consists of only 28 days okay i hope all of you have understood this uh, to check whether a year leap year or not we have to divide by 4 if it is divisible by 4 then we have the year is leap year otherwise if uh, but there is another condition here i am repeating again uh, the year if uh, the tens and ones places both are zero uh, the number uh, look at this the number this number uh, 3000 3000 is divisible by 4 but we can say that this year is a leap year we have to divide the number by 400 for what because of uh, here ones and ten play, tens place uh, both are zero here so that we have to divide by 400 Uh, we can also uh, say that uh, leap years come uh, once uh, every four years. Uh, that means uh, here uh, this year 2020 is a leap year. Uh, then uh, after four years, that means uh, 20, uh, 24, uh, the year 2024 will be also leap year. Uh, again, uh, 2028 will be also a leap year. Okay, but in your textbook, uh, there are some uh, problems uh, to check uh, whether the year is a leap year or not. I hope all of you can solve this problem. Okay, and now we will learn about decade. Uh, decade. Uh, decade is a period of uh, a period of uh, ten consecutive consecutive 10 consecutive years is a decade okay and now decade decade is uh, a period of 10 consecutive years uh, uh, that means uh, uh, if we have 10 consecutive years then we can say that uh, one decade uh, that means uh, from uh, 2011 to 2000 uh, 20 is here also a decade here is a one decade and if we have uh, 2021 to 2030 uh, there is another decade here uh, here is a period of period of 12 consecutive years is an era that means if there is a 12 consecutive years then we can say uh, one era
But now we will learn about a century. Century uh, Century is a period of consecutive hundred consecutive years. Uh, that is a period of hundred consecutive years. is a century uh, the first century was started uh, uh, in the year one uh, that means uh, uh, now we are in the year of 2020 now we are in the year of 2020 that means we are in the 21st century We are in the year of 2020, that's why we are in the 21st century. That means 21st century started in the year of 2001 and it will continue up to 2100. Uh, this one is 21st century. Now if we uh, check another one, that is the year uh, 16. 1600 uh, which uh, century uh, uh, this one in which century that is in the 16th century but the year 1601 that is in the 17th century 17th century uh, here 17th century uh, continued up to uh, 1700 that means 1601 to 1700 year the year this one is in the 17th century uh, okay now check another one if uh, there is uh, the year uh, 1318 this year is in 14th century but the year 1300 that is in the 13th century uh, the year uh, 1 1 200 uh, this one is in the first century and 100 1 to 200 that is the second century now if we have uh, 200 uh, if we have 200, 1 to 300, that is the third century. Uh, that's why here, uh, 1600. Uh, here, uh, the last one is 300, that is in the third century. But here, uh, 1600, 1600, that is in the 16th century. But 1601, that is in the 17th century. Because of uh, first century started with the year one. And now we'll uh, do some maths from exercise. So that is exercise uh, uh, twelve. Okay. Now exercise 12, uh, question number 1, write down the number of days of the month uh, here first one is Shravan second one is Bhadra 
third one is agrahayan uh, fourth one is chaitra uh, fifth one is april sixth one is july Seventh one is August. Eighth one is December. Okay, now uh, look at the question here. Uh, here we have to write down the number of days of the month. Uh, here, first one is Travan. We already know that in Bangla calendar, first five months. First five months has 31 days each. First five, Boishak, Jostra, Ashar, Sravan, Bhadra. Okay, up to Bhadra, from Boishak to Bhadra, uh, this all five months has 31 days. Okay, uh, the rest seven months has 30 days. Okay, now uh, here we have Sravan, Boishak, Jostra, Ashar, Sravan. That means Sravan is in the number 4. Okay, so that's why Sravan has 31 days. Here, solution Sravan has 31 days. Okay, number 2, Bhadra. Boishak, Jostra, Ashar, Sravan, Bhadra. Bhadra is in the number 5. That, that's mean Bhadra has also 31 days. Bhadra, 31 days. And Agrahan, Agrahan, Chutra. Both months has 30 days. Boishak, Jostra, Ashar, Sravan, Bhadra. Uh, these two months are not in the list of first 5. Okay, that's why uh, here Agrahayan has 30 days, also Chaitra has 30 days. Chaitra is also consists of 30 days. Okay, number 3, Agrahayan. Here 30 days. Number 4, Chaitra. Chaitra has also 30, uh, Chaitra has also 30 days. Uh, here, Sravan consists of uh, 31 days, uh, Bhadra consists of 31 days, Agrahan consists of 30 days, and Chaitra is consists of 30 days here. Okay, now check April, number 5, April, uh, how can we check April, July, August, December? Uh, we already know the trick okay january february march april april is in the bottom that that's in april consists of 30 days okay april 30 days uh, number six july number six july uh, July is January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July is in the top. So July consists of 31 days. Okay. 31 days. Number 7, August. Number 8, December. Okay, August, uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. August is in the top. So August has 31 days, August, September, October, November, December. December is also on top. So December is also consists of 31 days. So here we have August is consists of 31 days and December is consists of 31 days also. Uh, there's the solution of number one 
okay that is the solution of uh, question number one from exercise 12 uh, your home task uh, will be number one number two number three from exercise 12 okay no more today thank you all Allah Hafiz